So last year Jagex kinda fucked up. Oh, they just fuck up every update. Oi. No? Yes! <laughs> okay, okay, I'm kidding. Jagex does have far less issues now since they added the 30 minute downtime. So what happened? They added an update to the game and this broke existing mechanics. Many collection loggers jumped on this opportunity, taking advantage of this bug, ruining the integrity of our game. Because nobody takes advantage of small oversights, especially Iron Man, right? <laughs> no shade to anyone who has done any of these methods. Do you what you want, I don't care. I've done some of these activities and would have likely jumped straight onto this to take advantage also. I'm of course talking about... Now, I know most of you collection loggers will probably remember this, but for the six of those that don't, Venom mechanics were bugged. This affected various areas of the game, allowing people to abuse certain activities, such as BA, Catacombs, Revs, Chaos Druids, and many more. How did this work? Well, you run around tagging monsters with a blowpipe and a Serp Helm. This of course gives a 100% chance to inflict Venom and they'll eventually die. Just same way you would do to God Wars dungeon minions. Well, in this case, that wasn't accurate. Usually, if you leave combat with a monster you've inflicted with Venom, the Venom will no longer continue to tick. During this time, Venom did not stop when you left combat, allowing players to tag hundreds of monsters and reap the rewards far quicker. This was about four times quicker than our existing methods. So you might be wondering why I didn't take advantage of this like many others. <laughs> well, uh, I wasn't really playing then. Yes, I don't actually play RuneScape from time to time. It may seem like I've been locked in for years, but I do take breaks occasionally. So that leaves me here. I'm paying the price right now. I have to do this with more conventional methods, unfortunately. So go on, drop us a like and uh, maybe subscribe. Okay, on to a new grind. I don't have any items at the moment, my log is completely clean, and you might be wondering what I'm doing right now. So there's a few methods nowadays you can do for Tazars, and the one you're watching right now is Bulwark Resetting. Simple Chili's method, essentially just bring Max Melee Bulwark, spec twice, and just rinse and repeat with the Desert Amulet. You can use Divine Super Combats, but I don't have loads right now, I've just used most of mine on the Crystal Keys. so. I just wanted to save a bit and also I'm not really too bothered. I'm just I'm just watching things on the side right now. Oh no for a fucking thing! So I'm not trying to be highly efficient. If you are gonna bother with this method, I would say change your left click options on the achievement cape and the desert amulet. See it's just a one click teleport on the desert amulet and hold down nine on the numpad for the Tazar teleport. Lon Jim has a great guide. I gathered my methods from him, so I'm hoping my setup is decent. But it is a little out of date, so I'm not too sure when it was recorded. So I might need to check the current DPS of the gear that I do have. So I'll put his video in the description if you want to check that out. Also get some video editing done, I need something to AFK. I've not got many more options nowadays, other than hard clues really to do. I'm going to take off a few of these niche items. So we're going to be setting up camp here for a little, killing the undead druids. They have a chance of 1 in 1k of dropping the Mask of Renal, which is just a miscellaneous item from the collection log. They also provide a fairly decent drop chance at hard clues actually at 1 in 100, so I should be able to pull like 10 of these on drop rate. Just pull my first hard clue, and I also got the quiz random event. I guess it is my lucky day. Give me that steel baguette, please. What? Okay, you can get fucked, you stupid prick. Ever since I started video editing, I've just realised how long this fucking takes. Like, I get why people just do long form rambles. Because this shit, especially when you're new, there's so much more that goes into it than you think. Like in my case, I would have been perfectly happy just getting over 100 views on my first few videos. And it has been significantly more. I'm typically not the person who will comment or even like. So for those of you who do just drop a like, it doesn't go unnoticed. And for small content creators, I can imagine it makes their day as well. So thank you. Collection log slot completed. Oh, nice. Wait, what am I gonna AFK now though? All right, so there's a plus one to the miscellaneous log. I'm pretty much bang on, right? Just a little over 1k. But what can I do now? The Elven Signet, I need to be hopping wilds. So Shaman Mask, hmm. 
So I've decided to go after the Shaman Mask. I can just set up a cannon and AFK with range again. It's a 1 in 1.2k drop from the Ogresses, the Shamans or Warriors. This item is a free to play item so I can't imagine the Ogresses will be hitting me very hard. So I'm just going to set myself up here until I get this item as well. Collection log slot completed. Okay, I've just got Mega Spoon on that. That only took me 150, so I guess I'm not getting any editing done today at all. So I recently completed Defender of Varrock, but I've not been to get the Zombie Axe yet. This is a relatively AFK location for what I've seen again. I'm just going to set myself up with a Venator Bow. We are looking at a 1 in 800 for a Broken Zombie Axe, or a 1 in 1 to 8 for the Passive Heart Clues. I actually remember using this spot back in 2010. So for a brief period, I did do some YouTube videos back then and they would have been much worse than now, of course. I feel like a lot of people have made videos in the past at some point or another. And then you reflect like a year later and then think, okay, this is cringe. I want to get rid of it right now. And it takes a few years down the line where you just think, I wish I just kept them just to laugh at myself back then. It's nice to see another barrage location for medium level accounts to train at as well. So it looks like if I make a hardcore at some point, that I might be coming here. Or maybe during a temporary game mode, it just depends on the restrictions you might have during that though. But I can see this place being quite useful. Collection log slot completed. Very cool. Completed. For fuck's sake. Typical fashion, I forgot to turn my recorder back on. So that's my first log from the Tazars. I must have gone pretty unlucky on the, uh, the first trip I did. Collection log slot completed. Hey. Uh, I've just noticed again, the collection lock counter is bugged. This happened during the hard clues as well, where it's not accurate. It says 1142, but if I click on it now, yeah, it changes to 1141. Jagex, you gotta sort this shit out, you ruined my immersion, man. So alongside this method, there are two of our options you can do, which I will probably give a go later on. So the most efficient method that I'm aware of is barraging them, you simply just tag them, and then if you are a main, you can just use an ult to lure them in as well. I'm just opting not to bother with barraging just yet, as I've used so many runes lately barraging already. And you do need to be a lot more attentive. And the final method you can do is running around with a blowpipe, just tagging all the specific ones you want. So that's a very good method to get the final pieces that you might need. Likely, I will have to go after the staff as that's the rarest item, it's a 1 in 4k, where the other ones are far more common drops. So it's likely that I will have to get that last. But as I am only needing 1200 collection log stops, I'm probably not going to go for that to be honest. It's a bit more of a time investment and the other ones are far quicker to get. Collection log slot complete. Hey, we finally obtained Chad status, let's go. Alright, we're starting to get into the thick of it now. Catching quite a few duplicates, as expected. But it's alright, I'll be able to add them to Death's Coffer. We've got the Colosseum coming out soon, so it means I can just add them to that. And it means uh, I've got uh, a few Death's Bank then, haven't I? Collection log slot completed. Finally, the Tox Zil Ek. Yeah, that's going to be the last one I'm going to try and pronounce. Yeah, I think this has like no use. I got this during leagues and uh, it was worse than every other weapon I had. Alright, so that puts us on 4 out of 10 now. I'll likely probably get the shield next or the little other gorilla, <laughs> other gorilla gripper. <laughs> I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Why do I keep doing this? I keep forgetting to record, man. Well, as mentioned, I got the shield next. No gorilla gripper for me. Collection log slot. Completed. Oh, that's decent. Actually, first piece of obsidian armor I've got now. Collection log slot completed. There's the body. Just need the helm for the full armor set. And here's a little update. Plenty of duplicates in the past few days since my last collection log slot. All right, we have an update. It's about time I actually check my DPS. I don't have the guardian boots and just presumed it was fine. Don't ask me why I've left it this late. All right, so I hit a 48 with the full Tova. 46, great. So I've just been losing out on two max hits the whole time I've been doing this for the past week and a half. Very cool. No fucking way. No fucking way. Let's fucking go. <laughs> I didn't get it on camera. Oh, n holy shit. Holy shit. Fuck's sake, I had my, I had my, 
I had my OBS ready to record. I was like, nah, I'm not gonna get it. I'm only doing five fucking U trees. I just got and got Tangaroo, man. That's that's sick. Like I, I I only need one more skill in pair now. I thought that was just gonna take ages and it's something I'm gonna be doing. I've just spent the past week just like well not the week, alright. Maybe the past three days just doing a lot of just filling up my compost because I needed to just get it done and now I don't really need to do my, I'm just doing my aprons now. Sick. I think I'm just gonna do it for the sake of it because I've got the tree. I don't know. We'll see. I don't, I've, I've got the pet. <laughs> Completed. Nearly missed that then. That's the full set. Okay, right. We can move on to doing specific monsters now. I'm just gonna go after the final melee weapon. The mage staff is gonna take far too long and I don't care that much for it. So take a guess. Final item. I wasn't recording. I've got a screenshot of it. But yeah, that's the Tazar's done for now. We killed about 6.2k and got just shy of 60 mil in loot. I'm gonna hop over to Barra's now and get some easier collection logs. Fortunately enough, I've not done Barrows in a while, so it means I've still got my strange pit locks from when I did Hallow's Sepulchre years ago. This should provide a good few hundred chests before I run out. You got me fucked if you think I'm sipping some prayer. We ain't praying. Go on, do it pussy. Do it pussy. Fifty-five chests for my first item, and it's a dupe. You know, it can't, it can't get much better than that, can it? You know, you know. Collection log slot completed. Hey, there's collection log slot from the barrels, or at least the return to barrel, should I say? Why is it done this again? It says five, one one five one, but it's actually one fifty. Like, what the fuck is going on? Do other people see this? I don't get what's going on with this. Like, it's so weird. Alright, 12 more to go. Over halfway now, baby. Collection log slot completed. Nice cheeky breaths are coming in. Second collection log from the barrow so far. Okay, bud. Collection log slot hey. completed. So do you know what the most satisfying thing about this is? Besides the fact that these collection log slots are so free, each one of these brothers gets absolutely railed. I'm not wasting any time getting any percentage up because I'm only here for collection logs. It's only really worth your time if you're a mid-game account and you want the extra runes. So each one without the lock picks takes about three and a half minutes, which means I'm getting about 17 to 18 kills per hour. If I had them, then that will probably boost up a few extra. So, quick question for everyone. Do we have any clue scroll enjoyers? Personally, I think this update is very cool. Collection log slot completed. Alright, that will just about do it then. If it wasn't for the fact that I was getting so many leech right now, I'd be starting to get a bit annoyed. I'm going three times rate for every single item I'm seeing at the moment. I have to get these nine leaks done now before my clan raid event starts. So I'll catch you guys next time with that and probably some more barrows. We gained 17 log slots this episode. Check out my previous videos on screen, like and subscribe.